So would you be able to tell me a bit more about the, the use of drones for data capture and analysis, particularly within the construction life cycle? The first uh, thing that normally needs to be done is site feasibility. So, you know, we can quickly get topographical data, high resolution imagery, and give context awareness and take measurements of sites quite quickly. So at a feasibility stage where we don't know if the project is going ahead, we can still quickly collect accurate data that's useful with minimal time and investment. If that site becomes not feasible, we've not invested too much resource. As the project gets underway, we can then start using this data in construction. We're really talking about topographical data, uh, levels, stockpile volumes, and it can be used throughout the whole process. And once we've got that data in a digital format, the deliverables you know, are endless and can be used and shared and collaborated. This is where it's really useful is once you've got that collaboration piece, everybody working from the same page, from the same data set, that's where it becomes really powerful. On a large project, when we're talking about monitoring, that data is then key to making sure uh, we're, we're verifying the as-built versus the design we can track earthworks movements, how much muck has been shifted. We can check how many, how much materials we've got on site for our material management plans and generally just use it to make sure that the project is on time and on budget. And the beauty of using drones and other uh, surveying technologies right now is that this data is made available quickly it's accurate and it's shareable, meaning that issues can be picked up quickly and rectified in the cheapest, quickest, safest manner, rather than realizing when it's too late and we're now looking at a huge bill to, you know, to make those mistakes uh, right again.